Hi everybody. Power of concentration. The more you are able to improve the quality of your focus and concentration, the more will be the quality of your work. Simple. See, when you are assembling a product, let us say that we assembled this product. The quality of each of the component will decide the quality of this final product. Please understand this. When it comes to executing a job, the basic raw material, you know what it is? The basic raw material is your mind. Please understand. Your brain is identical. Brain research says that across the human race, brain is identical. The number of parts, the location, the functioning of the brain, the hormones, the chemicals, all these things are identical across the human race. Whether you are rich or poor, whether you are an American or a Japanese or Indian or African, whether you are black or white, whatever may be, the other differences, brain is identical. If the brain is identical, then why are we not turning out identical job? Please understand this uh, issue. Supposing our actions are driven only by the brain, then we are a robo. Let's say that 100 robots are produced with the same configuration. 100 robots will behave identically. Because there are no emotions, there are no feelings. But human beings are not robots. We are thinking beings. We are meaning making beings. Please understand this is very, very important when we discuss about concentration and focus. So even though brain is identical across the human race, the difference among people is in the quality of the mind and in the mind thoughts cross. Thoughts do not cross in the brain. There could be some electrical signals in the brain that's different but thoughts is a mind process. So in this connection only we are talking about concentration and focus. Mind by itself is wavering, wandering. So we are discussing the various ideas, tips and tools, how we can bring our mind to focus. In the last episode, I gave you an exercise of how you can set aside a chunk of time and concentrate only on that. In this episode, I'm going to give you two important tools make a note of it insulation and isolation insulation isolation you know what is insulation there is a wire and there are naked wire is there the metal portion of it is there so you put an insulation tape if you put an insulation tape, then you secure yourself from the shock, electrical shock. So the theory of insulation says you insulate yourself from unnecessary things. There are many things you need not know. You insulate yourself. For example, the more and more information you get to your mind, the more will be your mind wandering. For example, uh, you get introduced to smartphone, let us say. Somebody tells you, do you have WhatsApp? All these days you did never had a WhatsApp. He installed that WhatsApp and he explains to you how to use the WhatsApp. He teaches you how to share, how to forward messages. Now, you have one more information to disturb you. Somebody teaches you, let's say Instagram. All these days you never knew anything about Instagram. And it teaches you how Instagram it is so curious. 
and you start using Instagram, you find very uh, interesting, and then you start meddling with them, right? So one after other, more and more exposure to worldly things will give you more and more scope for distraction. So tell yourself, I do not want these things. Couple of uh, years ago, when P.V. Sindhu uh, won the uh, world-class uh, shuttlecock, there was an interview which um, says that for three years she never had anything to do with the smartphone. That she never had ice cream for that matter. Uh, similarly, junk food for that matter insulated herself. Right. So. You insulate yourself. If your friends, if your colleagues come and talk politics, sorry, I'm, I'm not interested. To that extent, you are protecting yourself, your time. The second one is called isolation. Isolate yourself. Go to a place where people will not disturb you. In your house, you find out a place where people will not disturb you. Or find out a time when you cannot be disturbed. I have seen students, I have seen executives two times. There are um, late nighters. For example, they work till 4 o'clock in the morning or 3 o'clock in the morning. Between 10 and 3, 10 and 4, there are no telephone calls, no television shows, full focus. During the daytime, there could be visitors, some telephone call will come, some messages will come. There are also people who get up early, who go to bed 8.30, 9 o'clock, they will go to sleep, get up at 3.30 or 4 o'clock. I know a journalist, a writer, who gets up 3 in the morning, until 10 o'clock in the morning, 7 hours, solid work. Solid work. Isolation, complete isolation. I want to give um, uh, a real story, a real thing which happened. I had a friend of mine who was a senior uh, personal manager in a multinational company. I was writing a book, my book, The Gift of Time, where I wanted to go and interview people who manage their time very well. And he was one such. I will mention his name, Mr. Vincent. He passed away recently, in fact. So he gives me a time and a particular day, 10 o'clock comes with that uh, we'll discuss. I go to his office at 9.45. The secretary says, uh, Mr. Vincent is not there. He said, come on. He asked me to come at 10 o'clock. Then he, is that so? And the secretary said and telephoned and then came and uh, told, sir, he's inside, go inside. I went inside and asked, Vincent, what is this? You ask me to come at 10 o'clock, your secretary says you are not there. Then he said, no, Sidharan, I have a very important work to do. There's a trade union negotiation going on. The moment people come to know that I'm in the office, a series of visitors, a series of telephone calls. So I applied for a leave. I came very early in the morning and everybody are under the impression I'm on leave. I'm now hiding myself in my chamber, concentrating on this isolation. So time-wise, you can isolate. Area-wise, you can isolate. People-wise, you can isolate. Subject-wise, you can isolate. You tell yourself, next one full week, I don't want to know anything about politics. I don't want to know anything what's happening in Afghanistan. I don't want to know anything about cricket because I have my exam uh, coming up next week. So insulation and isolation. Uh, plus your office arrangement, your study table arrangement. In a school situation, I used to tell the parents, the study table should be facing the wall, especially a corner of a room. At a corner of a room, if you are sitting, you only see the wall. If you turn this side, if you are going to face the road, a lot of people will go that side, this side. And your attention will be distracted. Your eyes will be distracted. You will see some people. Once the mind 
wanders it is very difficult to bring it back so ask yourself which is distracting you from today the next one week you are going to do a very interesting logging this is called interruptions log from the time you get up in the morning let us say 6 o'clock till you go to bed maybe whatever time 10 or 11 o'clock in a small little piece of paper you write down every time your attention was distracted was it a telephone call if so from whom was it a sound if so which made that sound did anybody drop into you a house if so why who and study the nature of distraction the timing of distractions why were you distracted then you can have a strategic planning how to procure yourself how to procure your time how to secure your time apply insulation and isolation so in this episode i discussed with you the insulation isolation i discussed about the interruption log studying the interruption log and coming out with an action plan to reduce the interruption let me conclude this saying interruption is a normal day a day full of interruption is a normal day how would you like if you are not at all interrupted your telephone never rings your parents do not ask you to do any work you go to office your boss never calls you for a meeting and your friends and relatives they celebrate a marriage or function of the family they don't invite you at all would you feel comfortable so interruption is a normal thing a perfectly normal day is a day full of interruption your strategy should be how to overcome interruptions and how to keep interruptions short i hope you like this episode please subscribe to the channel press the bell button if you have any comments please post it in the comment box i will try to answer this all the best see you in the next episode